Welcome one and all to the KOE Nation for another special spirits review here at the KOE Nation on YouTube and Twitch. I am your King of Extreme, Phil KOE, the Baron of Bourbon, the Prince and Potentate of the Political Parlance, and the Emperor of Big Fucking Empire, here to give you another excellent bourbon review. And I am joined by my indomitable broadcast partner, the one, the only, Tony G. Like, share, subscribe. So this is a lot of people's unicorn bottle tea. Yeah. We are reviewing Eagle Rare Kentucky Straight Bourbon, aged 10 years. This is a 10-year-old bourbon. Yes. Now, I've already actually got myself set up. I've got myself You've been sipping on uh, that throughout the evening. So you have a unique view of it. I do, and this is honestly the only second time I've enjoyed this over an evening. And... I'll be frank, this is about what I expected and remembered. So nothing new to report here, but we will get into it. It is a 10-year-old bourbon, and it's one of those Buffalo Trace, just some folks just have to have it bottles. We did not move this on to the bourbon tournament this year. No. We will consider it again next year when we probably do a blind flight for it. Indeed. So, but today we are going to grade this bourbon officially on our five star scales. For those who don't know, half star means eh, you don't need it, you can move on. Five stars means you need to have this whiskey before you shuffle off this mortal coil. So we're gonna grade this as a couple different things, as a bourbon, as a whiskey, as a cask aged spirit, it's shelving, and then the secret fifth question. Before we get into any of that, let's get right on into the nose and see what we pick up here. For me, this is- A lot of vanilla. Vanilla, but very floral. 45% AVB. Oh boy. Well, I think I'll get into the back of this real quick. And also <sighs> I'm going to throw on the glasses oh, of extreme. Of so. You know, after I threw these on, I totally get that people can't tell the difference between Superman and Clark Kent. Yeah, yeah, sure. So, all right. Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. The cornerstones of the birth of a nation. Epitomized by the American bald eagle. The nation has come to represent the freedom, spirit, and independence of the individual. Giving the world products and innovations that are uniquely its own. One such innovation was Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. Early Kentucky settlers created bourbon, the true American spirit in the late 1700s. By practice and protected by law, no other distilled spirit adheres to standards as strict as those established for Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. Wow. And few other whiskeys can offer even a glimpse of the great whiskey making found in Eagle Rare. Eagle Rare 10 year old Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey has a, well, it starts getting, I will read that after we nose and give a slight taste. So fair enough, but that, that, you know, it's almost striking me as like a Cody Rhodes bourbon there for a second. This, you're right. This is insanely heavy on the vanilla extract, but it's like if you took a bouquet of flowers and just dumped vanilla extract all over that bouquet. Yeah, I mean, this is prototypical bourbon yes. aged at 10 years. Um, you, you prettied up a bourbon on the nose. You prettied up a bourbon mm -hmm. and made it very... Not, I don't want to say feminine, but a very strong feminine. Hmm. I was about to say, I would just call it approachable. I, but uh, This reminds me of when I walk in to buy a bouquet of flowers or I walk into a greenery, I'm like, oh, I'd love a dozen roses. Please, let me get that. And I'm just, I'm overwhelmed with this. I don't know why. But with this, it is insanely floral to me. Am I wrong? No, no. There is kind of that like a uh, flower petal uh, quality to it. But all right, not that it's bad by it. Let's any have this hit the palate and see what we make of that. Cheers, folks. Hmm. It's 
A lot of oak hits you. This is about 70% oak. If you if you really if you really dive deep into the palate here and you really let it roll over your tongue, this is mostly oak. And we, that's not bad. The vanilla is there, but not nearly as much as it is on the nose. Yeah, the vanilla slaps your tongue and then almost completely dissipates, and you're just mostly left with oak. The floral pattern is almost 100% gone. And you're pretty much just left with a very standard bourbon taste in your mouth. Not that that's bad. So what Eagle Rare says is has the... Uh, Old Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey has a sweet, oaky nose and full, complex body reminiscent of a port wine. This rare whiskey is best served neat or over ice. Of course, feel free to drink Eagle Rare in such classic cocktails as a Manhattan or whiskey sour. I think okay. uh, Manhattan would work well. Yeah. Old fashioned, even better. Um, I wouldn't do a whiskey sour here. Uh, old fashioned, yes. Sure. If I'm doing a whiskey sour, I'm grabbing the worst of the worst. And this is not the worst. Not so, all right, T, we've uh, had a taste. We've gotten into the bottle. Yeah. Now we're going to grade it as a bourbon. As a bourbon whiskey on a five-star scale. How would you grade this? It's very, very drinkable. 45% uh, ABV. This is very sippable. This is a... Uh, this could be an everyday drinker, but unfortunately, this has become unicorn status, depending on where yeah. you reside in the S of A, so it can't really take that daily drinker mantle, but that's what it is, and I'm going to give this a three. Ooh, ouch. Um, I'm going to, as a bourbon, I'm going to give the, I'm going to be more generous than you, but only just at three and a half. Uh, I like it, but... I only just like it. And we're going to get so, into some of that a little later. So um, that gives an average of 3.25 between the two. Yeah, so. yeah. So it's definitely, um, it's good. keep this in mind, I bought this bottle for $27 USD. Yeah, you scored. Yeah, yeah. I just like, oh, Eagle Rare. I've heard all about this. People seem to really love this stuff. And yeah, so I picked up the, a bottle. Almost to the day that you picked this up, the week later, that was when it exploded on social media. Yeah, yeah. I had no idea. Um, just like, oh, I've heard a couple of people like this. So yeah, I might do a review. Um, so yeah, 27 is what I paid for it. But all yeah, right. Yeah, you, you got a great. Now we move on to whiskey. As a whiskey, I will give this a three and a half because I, I think you've got an interesting nose and a palate, and this is at least so it's ten year. So yep. I think they take the time here. This isn't just forgotten about. This isn't just thrown out to market. And even though you got it an amazing discount, what does it go for standard now? God, I've seen it for like 65, 70 bucks, which I would not pay $70 for that. No, but we'll I get into that not, later. Yeah, exactly. So I, I think as a whiskey, this is really good, but <clears throat> depends on what you're going to pay for it. Yep, yep. Uh, I'm going to agree with you at three and a half. You know, you it's, it's excellent. Three and a half star whiskey. Now is a cask aged spirit that's been aged 10 years. And it does show because you taste a lot of oak here. Like I, you know, this. No, oh, this is gonna hurt. I hit it. I'm sorry. I know people really, really love this stuff. As a cask age spirit, two point seven five. I really thought you were gonna go two and a half. Two you're... seven five. Okay. Okay. Um, honestly, this is good stuff, but. I would not pay a heavy secondary market no. for it. If you can no, no, get this it was, you're full right. retail. You you were right. You I paid, would give this three stars as a Cascade Spirit. You paid the right amount for this at 27 bucks. Here's yes. the thing. I'm a massive fan of Wild Turkey 101. Like that, for me, when it comes to bourbon, that's a daily drinker. And it's affordable and it's under 30 bucks. And that's what this should be. Now, honestly, now we're moving on to shelving here, too. Honestly, now, if it would fit there, it won't because uh, right. the bottle's too tall. Sure. This would honestly be on my bottom shelf. I know. For me, this... I would put regular Buffalo Trace above this. 
this would be sitting next to Buffalo Trace. That's probably fair. I this is kind of in between the middle and the bottom shelf. I'm not putting this on my top shelf. This is not a top shelf whiskey. I'm sorry. I know people love this stuff. It just it doesn't. I don't know what you know. What it is about the our palace, your but... guest category. I think this is a served your guest category. Like because everybody they're going to feel completely overserved. Yeah, everyone's going to really want to try this, and you're like, yeah, I've had it. It's all right. Um, yeah, you've been trying to feed it to me all night to get rid of it. <laughs> and that's as far as I've gotten. Uh, now, that's what I'm going to say is the secret fifth question, Tony, is if when this bottle is empty, would you seek another one? Oh, now, what sure. I'm going to say for the retail, if you could find one for $27, oh, perhaps. Shit. If I could find one for 27 bucks, I'm probably going to buy three of them because I know full well people would be willing to pay me upwards of $70 per bottle or you can at least, for what I'd pay for three of them. At least trade your way into something. I, you know, I, I get it. Like, if you're a fan of a distillery, fine. If you want to pay that much for a bottle, fine. <laughs> But this doesn't have enough complexity to me, and twenty-seven. That's that's about right. To Unfortunately, me, for a ten-year bourbon at sixty, no. There's so many excellent Buffalo Trace products that this one, if I could get it at regular MSRP, um, there's at, another hundred and one proof whiskeys bourbons that are much better yes. for half the price. Yes. So this one. If this is one you absolutely have to have, try it at a bar, give it a good sample, give it a shot. If this is up your alley, get it if you find it. Because <laughs> the opportunity to grab this up is not going to come every day. And if this yes. is up your alley, you like what you like, drink what you like, drink it how you want. Don't let us influence you one bit. But if you want our honest to goodness opinion, this is not a must have bottle. Yeah, I, you know, hey, to thine own self be true and to you, KOE Nation, I must be true. Uh, there's other Buffalo Trace products I would recommend. Like Absolutely. even just regular old Buffalo Trace, excellent, excellent stuff. A great daily drinker. Yes. This is an oak bomb. Now I it don't is. mean to like. People were telling me that Knob Creek 15 was going to be an oak bomb. That wasn't as oaky as this. No. So if you love oak in your profile, this is right up your alley. But me, Tony, I do have a bit of a whiskey sweet tooth. Indeed. So, but well, anything else you'd like to say to the beautiful people? No, this is this is actually really really nice bourbon. But please think about this secondary market. I know it's a bitch out there, folks. Do not overpay for this. No matter what you've read on the internet, no matter what you've been peer pressured into thinking on the social medias, this is a very nice bourbon. But do not overpay for it. Yep, good stuff. If it fits your wheelhouse, get what you like, but don't be tricked. Yep. So, folks, this has been our review of Eagle Rare 10 Year Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey from the Buffalo Trace Distillery, Sazerac Corporation. And as I'm known to say around here, all that being said, thank you for joining us here at the KOE Nation on YouTube and Twitch. And be sure to keep your eyes on this space. There's plenty more KOE content coming down the pike. But I am signing off and handing it off to my indomitable broadcast partner that you can find at Tony the Rod on TikTok. Tony, take us away. Another fantastic bourbon. Maybe not exactly at my wheelhouse, but you know what? Ain't bad at all, folks. Drink what you like, drink responsibly, and thanks for coming.